Looks like it's going to be a video day today. I think that's starting to look a little bit like salsa recipe to me. We have some lime, jalapeno, garlic, red onion, sweet onion, pineapple, tomatillos, right there, red bell pepper, some fresh cilantro, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of cream. Hello everyone. Today we're making two salsas. One salsa is going to be very much like a pico de gallo other than it's made with pineapple and actually a couple of other ingredients that you won't find in a pico so I don't know what you want to call that salsa anyway the second salsa is going to be a hot roasted salsa it's going to be made with roasted uh, pineapple and tomatillos and all of the other type of vegetables that you would traditionally find in a green sauce or a sauce verde. Enjoy yourself today and stick with me and let's see what we can get into. Oh my god. I can't believe how still this has gotten. It wouldn't even cut that onion peel. It better cut it now. Ah, woo, sure does. Cut me. I'm gonna quarter an onion, put it on my roasting pan, and I'm gonna roast the onions and tomatillos. Tomatillos, our garlic, our jalapenos, and our sweet onion. There's going to be a salsa that's not cooked, and there's going to be a salsa that is cooked. Ninety-five degrees outside. It was ninety-six when I started. I have to turn the air conditioner off because of the loud noise in the background since I don't have a microphone. And I'm about to die. So in our roaster we have our vegetables that we're roasting first. This is the tomatillos, the garlic, a jalapeno, and a sweet onion. People may not like the sweet onion idea. They can use whatever kind of onion they choose. In the meantime, I'm saving red onion for the cold salsa. Now the place is going to smell good. Oh, oh gosh. Mm. Oh my god, this is sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. There's some wow factor there. Wow. Okay.
Just trying to get some of the seeds out. You just got to get just past these dimples. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful pineapple. Okay. Now we're going to go right down the side of that core. Set that off to the side. We're going to go down the side of the core again, but more of an angle. And then we're going to turn this on the side. And we're going to angle that core out. We're going to cut a little bit more. I see that's a little white looking. Let's see if I was right in doing that. Definitely right to do that. Now we're going to have another roasting pan that we're going to roast the tomato. The pineapples on. Roasted pineapple is delicious. But this is so sweet, I hate. Oh. Mmm. 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 You know, it's got to go with the salsa. Oh, I forgot my hat. Mmm. Wowza. Mmm. Now for this cold salsa, we're going to cut these in tidbits. We're cutting the tidbits or the pineapple up to use as tidbits. The hot sauce is going to be more of a puree. The cold salsa here it's going to be more of a uh, more of a pico. I don't know. That might not be sweet. Yeah, this crap. Maybe this one's not so sweet. Mm -hmm. That one's okay too. That one's okay too. Anybody else just hate these stickers? Hate them, hate them, hate them. Guess I'll have to just cut that label off. Just like that. Ruin my pretty pepper. Ruin my pretty pepper cutting the label off. Okay, toaster oven is over, so the veggies have roasted. We're going to let them cool down before taking them out. Then we're going to roast the pineapples, but probably not as long. We don't use paper towels in the house anymore. We use wash. Uh, we use a uh, gong flower sack. I'm going to show you what these the roasted veggies look like for right now. They're not black or anything. The tomatillos are turning colors, but I'm going to take off the garlic, I believe, and we're going to roast them a little bit longer. The garlic is soft, but I'd like to see a little bit more char on these. So let's put them back in the toaster oven. I could boil them for a few moments. 
a little roast. And this time we'll knock up the temperature a little bit. But we won't put it for so long. Our pineapple that's getting ready to be roasted will sit here. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to get some things ready for the cold salsa. So we've got our onion, got our bell pepper. Did I mention red bell pepper? Mix that up a little bit. Our pineapple. Can you see how pretty that is? No? We're going to add a little green. The one thing I would like to add would be some green onion. Stores did have green onion. Don't let the gloom and doom channels let you know that. No, let you know that. Don't let the gloom and... Yeah, don't let the... Don't let the doom and gloom channels let me hear... Wait. You know, just never mind. So we have cilantro. Little bit of black pepper in there. Little bit of salt. I measured out a half a teaspoon so I wouldn't go overboard, but I'm not using that much by any means. And uh, cumin, just a tad. Mm. Okay, we're gonna have to change this philosophy. I'm going to cut that lime in half. I'm too weak to squeeze a lime. Okay. Some good juice in that one. All right. Let's toss this up. Forgot to add jalapeno, but they in there now. This is what we wanted our veggies to look like. We want that little char on there. They didn't get as black or charred as, as I would like them, but I think we're going to be safe with that. Here we're going to peel the garlic and de seed the jalapeno. Slice this down the middle. Look at that hot. So pineapple is roasting. The tomatillos here are cooling. So how y'all doing? Looks like a mess, don't it? Uh -huh. so we're gonna get tomatillo. We're gonna go for the roasted ones first, the really roasty ones. They're juicy. I'm gonna save these two out because I may have too many tomatillos for the amount of, of pineapple. I'd much rather it be pineapple-y than tomatillo-y. Put the onion in there. 
We're going to throw in the jalapeno, a daughter jalapeno. We're going to put in maybe three of the garlic cloves. Pineapple's almost ready. We're going to add just a tiny bit of pepper, just a tiny bit. We're going to add a little bit more of the salt, but not, not too much. And we're going to add a little bit more of the ground cumin. I'm ready to blend that, so I'm going to start the blending to see, and then we'll add the pineapple to it. How about that? Let's get a tasting spoon. I should have stuck with one jalapeno. Just one with the fat. Yes, one would have been fine. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. The pineapple is going to make all the difference in the world. I promise. Well, promise is going to be broken. You know, I'm going to continue this video with fried chips. Because I tell you what, without that air conditioner on, I'm dying in here. It's 85 degrees inside, 95 outside. And this is gonna make it that much hotter. We're gonna turn the air conditioner on, do the chips and the chicken for the tacos. And then if the sound is bad, we will just double. Everybody needs a good dub. I'm not getting the pineapple char that I wanted, but they're hot, so they'll be fine. There's a lot of juice in there. All right, so we're going to put the lid off for right now to get it started. Then we're going to have total drama. Damn. Ain't that pretty? Look at that. I know the lighting's got to be really bad. Oh, I just dropped it on my hand. I can't waste any of that. It's tangy from the tomatillos. Got a little bit of kick from the jalapenos. The garlic is smooth. But the pineapple is awesome. It's nice and burn. It was great without the cilantro. It's going to be even better with it. So, stem sticks everything. Give it some consistency. Get that in there. Get it all in there. Get that cilantro in there. Get it. Get in there, boy. Now, this time, we're going to put the lid on. I bet you're wondering, the whole time I was doing this, if I was going to use that cilantro that was so good. Why didn't you say something? Well, it's getting used now. Boy, that's a green vortex. Wow. Okay, another taste test. 
This time I'm going to just spoon it out. I gotta go find somebody with the chips. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Dudes and dudettes. You have got to try this. Mm. Mm. Fantastic without the cilantro. Cilantro just makes it. Absolutely makes it. Mm. Oh. Well, for right now, I'm going to say so long. I'll come back. We'll have some chicken tacos with some salsa and some pineapple pico. Enjoy your day. Bye. Are your flour tortillas getting a little dry or stale? Let's do something with them, just like mine. We're going to cut it. One, two, three, yep, four ways. There. Now all of these. Uh, boy, somebody tug somebody's tugging on my backside. I have children here. They got four legs and furry, but they still children. You just untied my apron, Tudor. Well, bear with me here. As you can tell, I'm having to do a little talk over. Only because the air conditioner is on now and it's running loud. The uh, vent fan, of course, is on. And then there's a lot of sizzle going on in the skillet. I'm just doing a simple pan fry. A little bit of olive oil in the skillet and six chicken tenders. A little bit of seasoning. We're just going to uh, brown them as cook them all the way through to the proper temperature. Now the chicken is getting very close to being done, I'm going to turn my focus over onto this other fry pan, and that is actually going to be my favorite thing of the day. I took the old flour tortillas that we sliced up a little earlier and tossed them in this hot vegetable oil. Actually, it's canola oil. And it does not take long at all for them to crisp up. If the grease is the right temperature, but make sure you stay on top of it. Well, I just walked away. But if you stay on top of it, keep an eye on them. They're not going to burn on you. Looks like the chicken temperature is going to be just fine. So we're going to pull that out here in just a moment. Focus our attention back on the chips. Those chips are delicious. We're going to salt them with just a little bit of sea salt. And... Uh, they're not going to last long at all. Now we're doing a corn tortilla. The corn tortilla we're doing so that we can make a tostada. So what do you guys think about that? We've had a nice day today in the kitchen. It definitely will take a little bit of time for the prep work for you. But with a few fresh ingredients from your local grocer, or even your garden, you can come out with some wonderful little sauces. These sauces I've made because I love pineapple, and I think they'll be a nice addition to a lunch for the Day of the Dead. That's coming up soon. I hope you have an opportunity to celebrate and enjoy your family while you have them. Take care now, and I'll see you real soon.